Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in dentistry and more. Today we have a growth curve that is Kamen's growth curve in orthodontics. So this growth curve summarizes the postnatal growth of various body tissues. So we have lymphoid, neural, general and genital tissues and this curve summarizes the growth rate that is a postnatal growth rate over the period of 20 years that is by 20 year from birth by 20 year the growth of most of the body parts or the tissues will be stopped so on the x-axis we have age that is 0 to 20 years and the y-axis we have size attained as percentage total postnatal growth so this is zero percentage and this is the maximum adult percentage that is hundred percentage and some tissues reaching even the double size of adult that is 200 percentage so ultimately by the 20 year all the tissues reaching to the adult size that is hundred percentage so we know not uh, all tissues of organs of our body grow at same time and also to same extent so each tissues have different growth rate and pattern so different body tissues uh, shows different uh, pattern of growth so the curve itself seeing the difference between the growth rate of all the four tissues of our body so now let's see one by one so we have four body tissues that is lymphoid tissue general or somatic neural tissues and the last one is genital tissues so we are going to study about the scammons growth curve that is a growth of these tissues over the postnatal period postnatal period postnatal growth period that is 20 years so we have lymphoid tissue so lymphoid tissue or the lymphoid curve this is the blue one is the lymphoid curve which includes the thymus pharyngeal and tonsillar adenoids lymph nodes and intestinal lymphatic masses okay so these lymphoid tissue grow rapidly to reach 200 percentage so this is 200 percentage of adult size so this is actual adult size ultimately it reaches 100 percentage that is adult size but during the period of 10 to 15 years okay so this 10 to 15 years it reaches 200 percentage the lymphoid tissues why because it is an adaptation to protect the children that is a younger age group of people from infection so lymphoid tissue mainly involved with infection control because uh, lymphoid tissues b lymphocytes t lymphocytes all we know so all are our body's response mechanisms to infection so why it is growing up to 200 percentage in this particular period of age it is to protect the children from infection after that it drops to 100 percentage that is uh, there will be physiologic involution of the lymphoid tissues slowly by around 20 years it reaches to the normal size now next we have the neural curve okay so the neural curve is a green one it is uh, basically includes brain spinal cord optic apparatus which is related to the bony parts of skull upper face and vertebral column these neural curve which rises strongly during childhood so there is an exponential phase during the childhood around 0 to 5 years and uh, the brain reaches its full size around 8 year okay so by 8 year almost uh, the neural tissues are reaching to its adult size this is adult size this horizontal line because this is 100 percentage so by eight years uh, a child is mentally as 
stable as an adult on a neural level the mental capability of a child with 8 year is as good as an adult so that is about neural curve okay now we have the general curve general curve which is basically a s shaped curve so s shaped curve it is s shaped curve general curve is uh, somatic tissues or we can say it is somatic tissues which includes uh, our musculature bony skeleton respiratory and digestive organs and uh, also kidneys liver spleen and blood volume so this s shaped growth curve this growth curve which uh, rises steadily from birth till 5 years so till 5 years it has a growth phase okay it is growth phase after that what happens is 5 to 10 years there will be a flattened phase so 5 to 10 years there will be flattened phase so 0 to 5 years there will be exponential growth phase then 5 to 10 years there is a flattened phase again during puberty so during puberty there will be more acceleration more acceleration and ultimately it reaches to the adult size by the age of 20 so whereas the last one genital curve is little different it has a very smaller growth during the early periods because it is associated with the primary sex apparatus ovary and testis and all secondary sex characters and traits okay so it has very small rise in the first year of life then it is uh, almost flat until the 10 years after that it goes on increasing and by 20 years it reaches the adult size okay so that is the four tissues now let's come to our oral cavity so how maxilla and mandible can be related to these tissues so the maxilla which follows the neural curve because neural we know by 8 years it reaches the adult size so maxilla also it reaches the complete formation by around 8 years so if you are doing any treatment on maxilla we need to complete it by 8 years uh, such as face mask it should be given around as early as possible around 6 years or 7 years to promote the growth of maxilla by 8 years the maxilla formation will be complete okay so that is regarding the maxilla whereas the mandible is entirely different it it is following a path of our um, somatic tissues that is a general general or somatic because it grows till 18 or 20 years so if you are planning a treatment such as chin cup on mandible uh, we should continue it till 18 or 20 years so what happens if you are doing a chin cup treatment and if you are stopping by 16 years what happens is the mandible still grows okay so the treatment will be a failure because there will be relapse so we need to wait till the cessation of growth of that particular bone with respect to the treatment so if maxilla we can stop it by 8 years because by 8 years the growth of maxilla is stopped whereas the mandible is continuously growing till 18 to 20 years so if you are doing a treatment on mandible we need to wait till 18 to 20 years otherwise there will be relapse so that is uh, maxilla and mandible which can be related to neural and uh, general curve respectively with regard to the treatment options so i hope you understood the concept of scammons growth curve so we have four tissues lymphoid general neural and genital and um, its growth pattern the lymphoid is going very high that is 200 percentage and neural is reaching adult size very early around 8 years the rest two general and genital 
it's reaching its adult size by 18 to 20 years. So that's all about scam and growth curve. I'll come up with a new topic in orthodontics. Thank you.